welcome back to my channel this is Claire in the kitchen Claire's take I'm excited because we have some recipes that I love to make at home and of course some of the ones that I've kind of talked myself over the years you know being that I look for it and I never find it and I'm just like I'm gonna make it for myself so I'm gonna show you guys how to make some of these recipes of course if you haven't subscribed please make sure you subscribe to my channel I love peppers I love the fact that you chicken is like so versatile so you can do so much with it I'm gonna use chicken breast and this is our technique that uh, Chef Bennett, we do a show called Hot Plate that's on Ebro. Chef Bennett showed me how to do this and I actually kind of really, really liked it. So now I do all types of stuffings which I'm going to show you. It's, it's like a chicken roulade but not, so it's just like a stuffed, uh, pepper stuffed chicken. <laughs> So we have here some chicken breasts which have kind of like butterflied and are beaten down. And the first thing which I always tell people, you have to season. Seasoning is key. I'm like when you use a piece of chicken, the first thing that you want to do is literally just season it. I'm going to use some, um, some what is it called? Some salt and some black pepper. Do the same thing. Oh, okay. I had butterfly this, but it's like torn. <laughs> And I'm gonna put some uh, salt and pepper in uh, in both sides. Just this is very very key. All right, so a little bit of salt, a little bit of pepper, and guess what? I'm gonna just add a little bit of uh, my own thing, which is just um, some garlic powder. I love love love. Hold on, just if I don't know, you guys, why does garlic powder always get like this? I hate this. It's like oxygen gets in, and that's it. I'm gonna put like honestly cling film on my garlic powder so I'm just gonna rub a little bit of that garlic powder Spanish paprika here that I'm also gonna use I'm just gonna rub some Spanish paprika on that and just let that sit soak in all those flavors I love it I really love to cook with ghee if you have just sunflower oil it's up to you you can just use the sunflower oil or the, or the you know olive oil and wait for that to get really really nice and hot I'm gonna go ahead and toss that in there and literally I'm, I'm not cooking it, I'm just sort of like just tossing it. I I don't know what it is, but that's fine. I just wanna toss that up just slightly and that's it. Now the reason I was doing that is because I just wanted to slightly cook it um, just a little bit. I'm gonna add just a, a little bit of pepper on that. That's it. Again, you don't have to cook it. I just literally just wanted to cook it very slightly and that brings out the sweetness. Not necessary. You can remove, you can put it as is. Now what I have here is I had caramelized some onions and I had cooked some steak with some garlic. So I've minced the onions and the garlic in there. Um, and this is just basically how it looks. I had minced the garlic and I'm going to put just a streak. So it's like caramelized sweet onion with, with cooked down garlic that I'm just going to put a streak of right in the middle there and then I'm gonna come with my peppers of course and I'm just gonna place them right on there now I love peppers honestly they smell delicious they look amazing um, I try to try and tend to not overstuff them then I'm gonna come with my cheese and I'm gonna place just a good portion of cheese right in there as well all right, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to come here and I'm going to place, now this is collar bacon. Collar bacon, I have cling film at the bottom. We're going to place the collar bacon right on top of each other. Now, if you are not able to have bacon, you can choose to take, or rather you can take, um, what is it called, beef bacon. Beef bacon works just as well. I'm going to come here and cut my cling film just to take that off, the excess. You want to be gentle with it. Remember, mine had had torn, so you know I'm just trying to just move it carefully. Look at that, right on top of my bacon. Now this is the, this is the technique that Chef taught me: is you want to bring in your cling film and you want to tuck, fold and tuck. So you want to make sure you bring this in, fold and tuck. You can see I'm kind of just like pressing it, folding and tucking. And the best part is you can use the bacon as a blanket to kind of just make sure you seal those edges perfectly. Look at that. So I'm pressing it as we go and I'm folding and I'm tucking. I'm folding and I'm tucking. So as you can see, I'm using the cling film to kind of just like, and I can drag it closer to me. 
or not maybe i should just move with it and as you can see i'm folding and tucking chef bennett showed me this technique and i am obsessed with using it especially for wrapping up my chicken and you can see i'm kind of on honestly just getting the bacon in there there's nothing wrong with get, getting the bacon in there and you want to continue to fold and tuck fold and tuck and you want to make sure you seal all the content look at how gorgeous that is honestly okay now at this point is i'm going to try and get it closer to me i'm just going to get it closer to me like that and you can see the chicken is sealed in there oh my gosh the bacon has just completely covered it it looks gorgeous and at this point is when you get to the end of it you want to make sure that you roll it through completely and then you want to stretch out your cling film because we're still going to use the cling film and you want to press into it so that just enables you or oh, look at that finish it off finish it off completely see and then make sure you've tucked in your um, your bacon pieces in there, covered it with your cling film. On the other side as well, I'm gonna cover it in, and I'm gonna come here now with the excess um, cling film that we have, and I'm gonna seal it in there nice and tight, lock it up, press it through, and you have this lovely cylindrical shape there. Okay, so check this out, guys. Come here with your cling film and you want to push the content that you have in there way in see that and you kind of just want to twist it up and then you want to come in here tuck this in tuck this in completely right I'm gonna tuck it in tuck it in get in there get in there and you kind of just want to you know do a nice little sausage motion there look at that so gorgeous and then we're gonna come back here um, same thing that we've done and you just want to seal it in a little bit more just to make sure we have that lovely lovely uh, chicken locked in there completely and we're gonna continue to roll it up roll it up completely until we've sealed it up and we're gonna do the exact same motion that we had there again grab the ends both of them and just tuck that in there and we're kind of just gonna give that a lovely lovely twist see oh make sure there's no air I can see some air getting in there so we just want to make sure there's no air whatsoever and we're gonna give that a twist okay we're gonna come here I have some boiling water what we're gonna do is we're just gonna dump that straight into the boiling water and let that cook I love that. All right, keep checking it. I'm gonna add some water just to make sure that it's submerged completely and it's cooking through thoroughly. So a little bit of ghee on there. I'm just gonna get one clove of garlic. Bring it here, I'm gonna give it a bang, give it a bang with this little thing that we had there. Honestly, all you have to do is just crush it. If you have a knife, it works better with a knife. And I'm gonna come here with my um, veggies that we have there. Our pan is nice and hot, we've got the ghee, uh, we've got the, I'm just gonna I love that sound again less ghee is better please don't over ghee we're gonna just season it with some salt season it with some pepper if you've got some herbs I'm gonna throw in my garlic there and I'm just gonna give this a cook guys so I'm gonna place this in a lovely 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 uh, just the plate that I'm gonna be serving on all right, now this has been going for um, just enough, maybe we'd say about 10 minutes, just to make sure that the chicken has cooked through. In case um, you're, you're feeling like the chicken may not be as ready, you can go ahead and, and, and put it in for longer. I'm just gonna take this out now. Um, and I'm gonna place it right here, just to make sure that I've got in all these lovely, lovely uh, paper. And of course it's sealed in all that flavor. Ooh, ooh, it's still got a little bit of that water coming out. Whoa, don't be bad. All right, I'm just going to make sure that I get this out without burning myself. And look at that. So it's almost like you've created the cutest little sausage ever. Look at how beautiful that is. And we still have all the, you know, the flavors sealed in. You see that little twist I was telling you? It's so important that you do the twist because then that seals. Oh my gosh, it smells divine. Oh, don't fall. It smells divine. And we're literally just going to place this. Um, just make sure we get all the sides nice and covered. Fire on high. 
just to sear it and lock it. Now this is bacon, so you want to make sure that you don't put too much grease on it because of the fact that it's got its own grease. As you can see, because of the cooking, it's completely made this cylindrical shape that is just absolutely gorgeous. I'm literally just gonna roll this. Don't look like me. Um, you just wanna make sure that you get, I cook a lot, so I mean, it's a little bit too plain. Um, and I'm just gonna maybe just cook it on one side just to make sure that I keep twisting and cook that through completely. All right, uh, give that a flip. So you want to make sure you just keep gently turning it. Look at that color on there. Oh yes, you want to get the right color on there. We're gonna leave that to rest for a bit and then we're gonna cut it open. Moment of truth, we just want to make sure that it's cooked through. So I'm just gonna cut it um, just to see. Oh yes, that is cooked through. Look at how beautiful that is. I'm just gonna see how many inches I want, maybe about that. About a centimeter and a half is what we're looking for. And this is just gonna be, look at how gorgeous that is. Absolutely stunning. It looks beautiful. It smells delicious. So you get the lovely crispy um, bacon on the outside and then you get the cheese drizzled in the inside and you got the lovely chew of peppers that are going to be on the inside as well it's seasoned through because we made sure that we season and it remains moist because of the fact that you know we put that whoo, cheese inside i'm telling you the pepper smell and it's slightly hot but i'm just going to make sure that i cut it through completely i love the pepper smell look at the juices that are easing out oh wow look at that absolutely gorgeous and i'm just gonna come here and i'm gonna place the chicken right on top of our lovely um bed that we made there look at that gorgeous so i'm gonna come here and i've made just a little sauce um not much actually it's just a lovely uh it's yeah. just like a cream sauce that i made and i made it slightly light because i didn't want it very very thick and i'm just gonna drizzle that right on top and we are going to try this look at that cooked through super moist look at how juicy this is yes all that is juice from the bacon from the cheese from the chicken it's cooked to perfection it tastes delicious <laughs> i love that i cannot wait to eat the rest of it it's seasoned through I hope you enjoy that. Remember, you can stuff it with absolutely anything you want. I will be showing you more recipes or stuff that I make in my kitchen. Don't forget to subscribe. Bye, guys.